Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I've used FrameDrop AI for some time now and I would like to offer some feedback in terms of what they have to offer and what experience I had when using it. So without further ado, let's check out what they have. Now, so upon having a look at FrameDrop and what it has to offer, my initial thought is that it looks nice and neat and clean. There's not a lot of clutter on the uh, user interface. And you only really have two real options. It's to upload a URL or upload a video. So that's how you're going to get your clips from your long form video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that I've uploaded one clip. It was nine minutes or so. It's taken 10 minutes out of my 20 minutes from my free plan. This means that I'm now going to have to upgrade before I even start. One of the other factors here, then once you've done your video, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up now. It's given me three clips out of a 10 minute video. And, um, you know, I've used software before that does pretty much the same thing and it gave me, I think, a few more clips. It kind of gives you like one or so less than one per minute. So out of out of a 10-minute video or a nine-minute video, I would have gotten about eight or nine. So it, it gives quite a few less. And then also it's locked two of my clips, which means I'm going to have to upgrade to actually have access to the clips that I paid my minutes for. Okay, so I've uploaded a 10-minute video and it's withholding two of my clips. Um, you can go through now and guess you know, edit the the video or the clip that's been created. You can see here, you can change the layout. I'm just gonna pause that and now you can trim it. So you can just make the front a little bit shorter, the back a bit shorter, whatever the case may be. You're gonna now add some subtitles. So you can go ahead and select your language and then you can generate your subtitles. Now, these are my subtitles over here. You can change the language again. You can also change the line length, which is across your screen. Uh, you can change the position of the text. The font style, you can see that there's uh, quite a few options, not too many, but a fair amount. And then you can change, of course, the size. And there are some basic editing tools here, like bold, italic, um, caps, uh, and you know, text color. You can have highlights, which will allow you to highlight certain words within your subtitles. In conclusion, I think FrameDrop does have a couple decent features. It also has a couple downfalls. Of course, there are improvements on a daily or a weekly. So stay tuned for updates. And as always, we'll see you next time. Peace.